be prepared to be blown away. Hey everyone, welcome to Brad's Gadgets. All right, so in today's video, uh, I've got the Cacnon Air Duster and we're gonna check it out, see what it's good for, uh, see what other uses there are other than just dusting air and what what's all involved with this little blower. So first of all, you'll see that there's two buttons. Here is a trigger and the first top button is a little light. So you get a little, little light there, you can see what you're doing. The second button turns the unit on. Higher power, higher power, and higher power again. And we just hold the button down to shut it off. So obviously, what's it doing? It's just blowing air. Okay. So you can see that there's a little LED lights here. Not really that loud. Uh, on the back here we have the uh, USB-C port where we can plug it in to charge it. So you just plug in your USB-C cable and you can see now it's charging. Okay. As it's connected to my computer. But what do you get all what do you get all in the box with it? Well obviously I've opened it up we've taken a look at it. But you get this cool little travel pouch. Okay. So it's pretty cheap quality. Uh, it's nothing all that special, but you can put all the uh, all the accessories in on it. Now, the nozzle does fold down. So it just makes it easier for transporting somewhere. Put it in your luggage, put it in your bag for something. Okay. Now the nozzle just pops right off. And that's the nozzle that's pre-installed. Okay, so the attachments, you get another nozzle and it just fits on there like that. And this one has bristles, little brushes that you can use to blow stuff away, I suppose. Maybe clean out a keyboard. And a few other assorted nozzles that we can get into. This one's a little tiny one. Um, and this one would be great for uh, filling up an inflatable or something, but we're going to go through that. Uh, we're going to go through all the different little features. And then it also comes with your USB-C charging cable. So that's, uh, that's a complete little kit there. This unit boasts a 15 watt fast charging 7,500 milliamp battery. And this air duster can replace multiple compressed air canisters. So if you ever bought those ones for a computer or something like that, this would replace that and be a lot cheaper in the long run. Uh, now, one of the reasons I did buy this was because uh, it got high ratings on Amazon, but um, they show a picture of it blowing on a scale and it was able to actually detect the pressure on there. So we're gonna try that out as well. So I'm gonna give it three quick tests. Uh, we wanna check the scale see if I can get it to register anything. I'm gonna take it out to the barbecue, see how well it uh, helps getting charcoals going up. And then the third one, I'm gonna try inflating an inflatable, uh, one of those, one of the inflatables for behind your boat. We'll see how good this unit works. For the first test, we're gonna try and see how much pressure the scale can read from the different speed settings of the air duster. Look at that, 74 grams of force. Next, we're going to try and see how much faster our charcoal is going to light up using the air dust. Now, I didn't take into account the uh, ashes and stuff like that when I turned on the blower. I should have blown it out first, but you can see here how much faster that fire is just firing up. Thank you. 
Next up, the towable tube. I just stuck the uh, air duster right in the hole, turned it up to its highest setting, and proceeded to see how long it was going to take to fill this thing up, if it even could. The impressive part was that it took exactly four minutes to fill up using this handheld device. That's pretty impressive. Uh, pricing. What is the price on this? So, uh, the regular price on this was $69.99 Canadian. However, when I looked at it, uh, the particular day it had a $20 off coupon. And I've also seen now that it does, the Amazon has dropped the price on it. So, uh, now it's down to $55. And uh, is it worth it? Um, I think if you do have inflatables or a charcoal uh, barbecue, uh, this is a great little tool to have with you. Uh, the price price is not bad. Um, you can definitely get cheaper ones, but this one's just all around, in my opinion. I, I think it's it's pretty decent. It's worth the money that I paid for it with the coupon on its original price. Maybe not so much. So anyways, if you've been looking for one of these air dusters and want to know exactly what they're all about rather than just blowing crumbs away, uh, hopefully this video gave you a little bit more insight as to what's all involved with one of these. Uh, like I said, there's different models, uh, different speeds. This one's claiming 100 and... I think it's 120,000 RPM. Uh, I really have no idea how to check that, but... The force that this thing is shooting out air is pretty impressive, really, for what it is. Okay, so after trying out those tests, um, I'm actually even more impressed with this little air duster unit. Uh, hitting that 74 grams on the scale, I didn't even think that was possible with anything like this. Uh, and then you saw what it did to the charcoal. That fired it up probably faster than I've ever seen it. And uh, I know I just kind of used reused charcoal, but... My God, what a difference when I put this, even even from a few feet away, when I was blowing the air on it with this. Um, you know what, for a little, little unit like this, I'm pretty impressed. Um, sure, even for all those little nooks and crannies in your car, this would be great to just clean out the vents and just give it a once over inside the car, get all the dust out. Uh, and for the price of it, hey, that's not that bad. It can do a lot more than just blow crumbs away. So, if you got any value out of this video, uh, maybe this helped you decide if one of these was right for you or not. Um, I appreciate uh, maybe a like, maybe even a subscribe, and don't forget down in the bottom right hand corner is a little bell. And if you click on that, you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And as always, we'll, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching everybody.